Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad in which we would look at conditional formatting using Excel and the minor data visualization purposes. This topic could be covered in the introduction to data analytics and accounting or simply data analytics course auditing as well as managerial accounting. Many uses for the conditional formatting. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn. If you haven't done so, YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,700 plus accounting, auditing, tax, and finance lectures, as well as Excel tutorial. If you like my lectures, please like them, share them, put them in playlists. If they benefit you, it means they might benefit other people. Share the wealth, subscribe to the channel, and connect with me on Instagram. On my website, farhatlectures.com, you will find additional resources for your accounting courses, or if you are studying for your CPA exam, a lot of practice, a lot of, a lot of questions, exercises, simulations, so on and so forth, to get those 10 to 15 extra points to pass your CPA exam, as well as your CMA exam, enrolled agent exam. Please check out my website. So to illustrate, the conditional formatting function we're going to be looking we're going to be looking at this data to start with and i'm sure you know that in excel you could use chart to visualize your data well guess what conditional format could also help you visualize your data based on color coding it helps you going to see trend and patterns in your data it sounds very uh, challenging but it's pretty easy and very powerful so let's assume we're looking at this data. It's the say, the salespeople as the best car dealer in town. So here we have the name of the individual and per month. And what I can do real quick, for example, if I want to know who has the highest sales or the lowest sales here, what I can do, I can highlight all the names. I'm sorry, highlight all the data that I want to examine. Click on conditional formatting. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using color scales. And I like to the yellow, red, and yellow red yellow and green because people are familiar with that let me click on that and what's going to happen it's going to highlight the large numbers the large the large figures for example in march i see that ashley had 183,282 in sales also in may anthony had 181,942 notice so it shows me the the large numbers it also highlight the low numbers with light green for example here i see that anthony in january didn't do very well he only had 12,700, maybe he did not, you know, he started late in January or he was, or Anthony was still in training, but I, I noticed by, by May, his sales reach 181,942. So this is a good way at looking at the data. Or let me clear this, uh, clear this conditional format. I'm going to show you later how to clear this. So I can either clear selected rules or I can clear the entire sheet. I'm going to click, I'm going to clear those selected rules. Also, how can I how can I use conditional data? I can use it, for example, if I'm looking for all the sales that are above 160. So those are really impressive. So what I can do is I can click on highlight sales rules greater than. And here I have a greater than if I look for less than, for example, if they're too low, too high, in between a certain figure, a specific sales number, a cell that contains a certain text. If I'm looking at dates and duplicate value, I would look at later. But let's assume I want to see which salespeople reach at least per month above 100 and let's make it 150,000, 150,000, make it 160, 160,000. I believe that number is impressive and I want to reward them or I want to know who they are. For example, Ashley in two consecutive months reaches above, the only person that in two consecutive months reach, reach above 60. I can know this right away. I would notice that here and there, Joseph also had two months I notice here that Adam did not have any month above 160 as well as Bill and Tom, so maybe they need additional training. So notice I can real quick kind of get a good idea about who's doing well and who's not doing so well. And what's neat about uh, what's neat about uh, conditional formatting, they have some preset preset rules and basically so kind of you could you could sh see those number in data bars and let me show you what it looks like. It's not really good here. I'll show it to you in a, diff in, a different, uh, in a different scenario. Let me highlight everything just to show you how, how it goes. So you, you just, and the higher is the number, the higher is the bar. Obviously it's a bar. You should be familiar with bars. You could look at color scaling. I showed you how color scaling works, or you could use icon sets. For example, here, it tells me right away for the month of February, who is doing really good, like the green, that person that's doing really good, Avi and Ashley. And who's doing in between the yellow and who's who was doing bad in February, Anthony L. Same thing in January. I would know right away 
immediately what's going on really quick so that that's the beauty of it now let me clear this i'll keep this conditional format it doesn't matter the reason i'm telling you this is because when you want to clear the rules you could clear the rules from the selected cells or you can clear the rules from the entire sheet or you can manage your rules so you could have many rules at the same time and you could manage them for example here i have the cell above 160 and the icon sets i'm going to delete both because notice you could have more than one i'm going to delete both for oh, well delete this one and i'm going to delete this one now i basically i cleared my rules another way to use the uh, the uh, conditional formatting let's assume and i use this i use this a lot in my classes when i have uh, grades sometimes i have 36 students and i want to kind of highlight who's who's doing the best and who's doing the worst and who's in between so i could click on my you know select my data go to conditional formatting and i'm looking at the top bottom rules and i want to see the top 10 percent in the course and i only have uh, Justin now I can you know I only have Justin I also want to see the 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 top the lowest 10 percent the top and the bottom 10 percent let's see I'm gonna change you can change the color here you could change to yellow green uh, green fill uh, with dark green text light light red fill uh, red text or you could just customize to whatever you want to okay here you could use any colors you want I always use red so I'm gonna use red uh, for this purpose click on this and bill is is not doing very well the 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 bottom 10 percent in my class also what i like about this is also it's going to give me at a glance who's the the color scale uh, the icon sets notice here it's going to tell me um who's who's at risk for example let, let me just kind of select this select this one i like this one so who's at risk i see that bill and tom are at risk uh, john s as well as at risk uh, george k uh, ashley k and uh, Avi and Balad are in between, and the green one are doing well. They're above average. Or I want to highlight uh, the people who are above average. So I can highlight this, go to conditional formatting, and I want the people that are above average. Above average. So click on above average, and I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do custom format, and what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put them in bold. Okay, and okay so now i know who's doing above average okay these individual are obviously the green ones just yeah well as well as george k now doing above average based on the average class so this is how i can the, the many uses of conditional formatting also if i have two lists of items for example i might have my cash ledger for example i wrote those checks in my company and now i receive my bank statement and i want to know which check did not clear so basically i'm looking at two lists so you could highlight both lists, highlight this list, click on control and highlight the other list, go to conditional formatting, highlight cells, and I'm looking for, click on duplicate values. And I want to look at, you could either look at duplicate values or unique values. I'm going to click on unique values, click on OK, and I see that check number 58 and 62 are unique. In other words, they're in one list and not the other. So notice here, check 58 did not clear the bank yet because it's not with my checks that cleared the bank and check 62 did not clear the bank and notice check 58 is a large check 9720 compared to the my average check is 2517 i'm looking at it at below here so those are some of the many uses of conditional formatting now how would you use your conditional formatting it's up to you how you would, you're going to use it at your work as long as you know its capability, you'll be able to use it, whether you are detecting fraud, using it for internal control, financial statement analysis, or simply to manage your business. And simply put, notice managing rules, you could, you know, delete, edit rules. And also what you can do too, you could click you could click on new rules and set basically your own rules they're similar to the preset functions but some of them you could use formula to determine which cells to format so you could use any formula you want to to look up a specific form to look up a specific cell value as always i would like to remind you to visit my website and subscribe to the uh, subscribe to my youtube and if you are a cpa student or accounting candidate i strongly suggest to invest in my website good luck Study hard, stay safe, especially those coronavirus days. Good luck.